In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to run the best trips tight end offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I just wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping you become the best Madden player you could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos and we release a new video every single day that can help you get Get better at Madden 21. Now, in this video, we're specifically focusing in on our Trips Tight End Offensive Guide. And if you want to get my entire Trips Tight End Offense, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. You can get that entire Offensive Guide um, that walks you through how to run it step by step for just $10. So for just $10, you can get my entire uh, Trips Tight End Offensive Guide. Again, there's going to be a link in the description of this video. Now, in this video, we're talking specifically about the second component to any effective offense in Madden 21, and that is the ability to have a counter play now in our previous breakdown we talked a little bit about the power play and from trips tied in the play that we like to use as a power play is we really like to use this play right here um curl flat and the reason why we <coughs> excuse me the reason why we like this so much is because it's such a simple setup all you do is you streak x and you smart route the circle receiver and you'll see right here that the circle receiver will get over pretty much any zone drop on the right side of the field as you can see right there 25 yard curl flat really doesn't stand a chance to stop it and so we're going to come into our counter play and how we actually like to run <coughs> excuse me that and again this is going to be something that we can have in our arsenal that's going to be very good specifically against cover three or the mike blitz three and so um how we're going to run this and the play that we're going to use is the doubles in sale um <coughs> excuse me, from the trip side in. Um, so doubles in sale, I'm gonna call that play. This is what it looks like right here. And the adjustments are relatively simple. We're just going to put the circle receiver on a smart routed corner route. We're gonna put the square receiver on a five yard out route. We're gonna put the triangle receiver on a little fade just like this right here. And then on the right side, what I like to do is I just like to smart route the tight end. So you have two sharp corner routes that are gonna get open especially if your opponent is deep halfing and um, you're going to see how this play is going to work out but basically um, on the left on the left side the primary receiver that we want to hit is this corner route and as you can see right there even though we have a 25 yard curl flat zone over there he's not able to be able to get up on the ball as you can see right here the corner route or the um, the curl flat zone is coming from the slot corner which it does have a much better chance but as you can see it's very simple setup uh, just like this this is exactly what the play should look like and at the snap of the ball what you're going to notice is that the circle receiver is going to get open on the sideline now the, the beauty of this is this is also going to work if for example your opponent is running some type of cover two so if they're running a a cover two on you you'll see that it'll look just you know something like this right here a little cover two uh style of defense you know maybe something like this if they want to drop a couple extra people to get a little bit extra coverage but what you're going to see against a cover two situation is again if i shift back over here to the doubles in sale the beauty of this is a cover two is very difficult to play you know a traditional mabel coverage but as you can see the circle receiver is still getting uh wide open against that for an easy easy dot now the beauty of this is this is also very good against cover four. It's really very good against pretty much anything that your opponent can do. So this is the cover four drop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this against cover four quarters. So the beauty of this is it's also, and this is specifically why we talk about this as a counter play. It looks exactly like curl flat. Looks exactly like it, but it goes in a little bit of a different direction. So as you can see right here, the circle receiver on the sideline is going to get open, you know, right on the edge. Now, Cover four does do a little bit better of a job. An outside quarter does do a little bit better of a job at defending that, uh, at the defending that corner route. So you'll see right here, you know, the outside quarter zone is going to, <coughs> excuse me, play this just a little bit better, as you can see right there. But it's still open on the sideline. You also still have your little out route, your little five yard out route. But I want to show you why this is a really, really good play, specifically um, against match defense. So I'm going to come back out and trips tied in. And I'm going to come out in this play right here, doubles in sale. And I'm actually going to reset my zone drops so that they're, you know, back to kind of default. And I specifically want to talk a little bit about match defense and how it's going to work. So I'm going to go down to the cover four quarters right here out of the nickel 335 wide. 
And, you know, again, very simple setup. We're just fading the triangle receiver, putting the square receiver on an out route, and then we have these corner routes right here. And the beauty of this is most people call cover four quarters because it's a really good against corner routes. But as you can see, he's wide open, literally wide open, and it's a nice, easy little read for the offense. The other thing that I really like about this, specifically as it pertains to match defense, is if you watch this little running back route, when he cuts to the side, he's going to be a very nice little beater going to be able to beat man coverage, going to be able to beat match coverage. Obviously, if they're not playing hard flats, a lot of people will shift to something like this um, specifically because of, you know, kind of what, you know, what the defense was doing. So if we do something like this right here, right, little cover two action with the vertical hooks, the beauty of this is that this running back route is going to do a really good job. If they're playing a vertical hook, you're going to easily be able to hit that table route, you know, and get a couple of quick yards uh, just like that. But again, I want to show match coverage one more time, and I want to show it uh, just on this left side. If you watch this circle receiver, you're basically, it's a two-man read. You're reading the fade or the circle receiver, whoever they go to. Typically, they're going to go after the fade, and they're going to leave the circle receiver wide open. As you can see right there, nice little easy dot. And if you got good rat catchability, good stick work, you could turn that into a one-play touchdown against the cover four palms or the cover four quarters. They both are going to kind of play a little bit similar when it comes to that specific route combination so what i'm getting at here is that you're able to really do a lot of really good things you know against your opponent there's a lot of things you know that is simply they can't stop <coughs> um, when you run it with like when you run it like this when you use that out route and fade combination it really does force them to have to kind of come down on the out route and it's going to leave this nice little window cover two stock probably does the best job like just a traditional uh almost vanilla type of cover two style defense but you still have your running back quick as you can see right here um you're also going to be able to do a lot of different things for example let's say <clears throat> that you know they, they run like a cover two on you and let's say they have like a hard flat over here on this side. So if you watch this, you're going to see here, you know, same route combinations, but you're just going to see they're going to jet out. So you just low ball it. Um, you can hit your tight end. The other thing about that tight end route, just real quick, last thing that I want to share with you about this play is the tight end and the tight end corner is really, really good for zone drops. But as you'll see right here, you know, just be careful with it. They can obviously put a zone over them that will stop it. So just kind of watch. But if there's open grass, you want to hit the open grass. But that's step two to the trips tight end offense. If you want to get my entire trips tight end offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. You can get the entire offense for just $10. It will literally walk you through step by step how to run one of the most unstoppable offenses in Madden 21. It's a very simple offense. It can do a lot of damage to somebody, and it does a very, very good job at spacing the field, really forces the defense to have to kind of commit one way or the other as to what they're doing, whether they're in man coverage or zone coverage or um, you know, match coverage, you kind of will know that based on how they line up. So thanks for watching this video. And like I said, if you want to get my entire guide to the trips tight end offense, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description and you can get that offensive guide for just $10.